it seems like the Pelicans are basically just ghosting the Lakers. And I asked you, are the Pelicans doing this on purpose? Did they actually string this out on purpose? Basically, in an effort to sabotage the Lakers, get all the young guys riled up. We saw that the young guys were so distressed. They lost by 42 points the other night. Worst loss of LeBron's career. And there's that picture of him sitting alone at the bench, separated from his teammates. And I asked you, was this revenge in some way? Was this all calculated as for the Pelicans saying, huh, we think you tampered with our player. We are going to screw with your franchise. Yeah, I don't know if it was revenge so much. And I, I don't think they necessarily ghosted him, Rachel, because the Pelicans have made two trades in the last 12 hours. They've moved on to other business. They're doing other deals. They acquired Markeith Morris, and they did this deal with Miritich today. I don't think that they intended to bring the Lakers to a 42-point loss, but there was definitely actions taken by the Pelicans in this to, you know, expose the Lakers a little bit. And I think the Lakers, frankly, were acting out of normal protocol as well with trade offers being leaked as well. There was leaking going on on both sides here. But there was not good faith negotiations going on necessarily. <laughs> I think that's the best way to say it. Um, I don't think the Pelicans actively wanted to hurt the Lakers' locker room, but I do think they wanted to jab them with the stick, and I think that's what they did. What do you guys think? I do think there are going to be better trades out there if they wait to after the season. Uh, one in particular, Boston could put together a better package if they wait. So uh, I think they're just being patient with their cards and uh, want to wait and see what happens. Who knows, another team may come in with a, a great offer. So uh, if I'm, I'm in no rush. You know, they have AD on contract for another year. There's tampering going on every day. I mean, these, these players want to play with one another. Mm -hmm. You know, LeBron James and, and Anthony Davis has the same agent. There's going to be some tampering. LeBron has said it himself. He wants to play with some of the best players. So um, I don't know if the Pelicans are trying to get back at them. All I know is that is not a good trade for them to make. So mm -hmm. I'm looking at it from that sense. Like, I look at what the Lake, those young core of guys accomplished last year with the Lakers of winning, what, 35 games? There's no superstar in the making for, that, for those guys. I wouldn't make that trade if You're I'm right. And I, and I think this is important to realize because Laker fans are a little sensitive. Are there teams who no. dislike the Lakers and the way that they have done business and tampering and whatever? Yes, absolutely. Do the, did the Spurs not really want to do business with the Lakers on Kawhi? Yes. Did the Pelicans not want to really do business with the Lakers on AD? Yes. But if the Lakers had better trade options, yes. Yes. Right. they would still do a deal. Right. Nobody dislikes the Lakers enough to not want to do business if they actually had the, the goods. And in all honesty, they just these are quality players. But they are not superstars in the making, like They're potentially they can. changing players. Yeah, and look, I mean, this front office has themselves either to credit or blame for this roster, right? This is not two months after the Jim Bus, Mitch Kupchak era. Magic Johnson and Rob Polinka have been around for long enough. They drafted these guys. That's if that's who they're bringing to the bargaining table. It's what they put in mm -hmm. their own pocket, mm -hmm. and it looks like what they're going to be left with after the deadline. LeBron James spoke this morning at shootaround. They've got a game in Boston tonight, and he was asked if those trade rumors have ruffled his young teammates. Here's his response. It's just all part of business, and I think um, when you truly understand that and you truly uh, know that this is a business, but you give 110 percent to whatever situation that you're in. Um, then you're able to, to live with it. But I know it has to be tough on guys that um, for the first time in their career, uh, even when, especially if you're a young guy, to be able to hear your name in trade rumors when you've been somewhere, um, you know, for a few years. Paul, well, I want to know what it's like for these guys who are going to be taking the court against one of the best teams in the league tonight, Boston, and have to perform every day from here on out, try to make the playoffs, all the pressure of playing with LeBron still on them. What's it going to be like from here on well, out? Well, I'm going to tell you what. I've never been in that situation, but you could... I've seen guys in that situation. It's like the air is getting taken out of the room when you go in there and you see your teammates and trade rumors, and then it actually happens. It's like almost like going to a funeral when it does happen, so... It's hard to really concentrate because the night before you have a routine, you get your rest, you go to shoot around, you come back, take your nap, have your meal, but that's not what's happening. These guys are no on naps phones, today. <laughs> checking Twitter, checking Instagram. Watching the jump. Hi, everyone the out there. I know a bunch of you are watching. It's hard for them to get into their routine because they feel like any second this can go down. Mm -hmm. And so how can <laughs> oh I even God. concentrate on the game? My, 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 my problem is... And <laughs> that's amazing. If I'm a young player... I'm so proud. <laughs> if I'm a young player... Yes, I understand this is a business. I could get traded mm -hmm. at any time. But when I see photos like that with mm -hmm. LeBron sitting with the GM, the president, and he has, you know, 
some his his fingerprint on me getting out of here. Not saying LeBron is doing that, but when I see stuff like this, it makes me think like, damn, is he really behind closed doors trying to trade everybody to bring in his guys? It, it should make them guys feel some type of way. And I'm I'm not stating LeBron is actually doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but just the what the what the feeling is. Brian, we have seen in many cities now, certainly in many seasons, some disconnect between Braun and some of his teammates, certainly some of the younger teammates. In Cleveland, they were able to pull it together last year, but that was partly because they made some major moves. What do you see happening here based on your past experience? I'm always going to side on LeBron being able to pull it together. Yep. And this year, pulling it together isn't probably getting to the finals. Mm -hmm. It may be just getting to the playoffs, but maybe getting this team to the playoffs with all this adversity, and don't forget about their injuries, maybe that's the highest thing that they can accomplish this year. And so I'm, just based on history, I'm wagering on LeBron finishing very strong. He typically finishes very strong. I expect him to get healthier as it goes on. And this is not over for the Lakers at all. Remember, they can still bid on Anthony Davis. They can bring this trade offer back. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work out with Boston or New York, they can still have Anthony Davis in July, mm -hmm. but it's not going to happen in February. And I'm curious if they're going to make more moves either in the next couple hours or certainly in the buyout market. They've already got Reggie Bullock in route. He'll start playing with them this weekend. That's going to change the dynamic of the locker room, certainly change things out on the floor because he can shoot really well, which would be nice for them to have. Maybe Trevor Reza becomes available to them one way or another. So they will have at least, we know, some change, maybe even some more change. And that obviously, that chemistry mix, if it's going to change anyway, then you can pull together a little bit after that.